So just recently, my family and I, we took a trip back to where we're from. I'm not gonna say it's home because home is here in Gilbert, Arizona, but we went back to Brookfield, Illinois. And one of the things I loved about where we lived there that we don't really have in Power Ranch here in Gilbert, unfortunately, is kind of like a little downtown commercial section that was only two blocks away from where we lived. One thing we really loved doing was going down, we could get some pizza. My favorite pizza place was like two and a half blocks away. They had ice cream. So if your situation's anything like ours and you really want to have a little downtown area to go to then well you're gonna love Agritopia. This is a quaint little community that's located in central Gilbert. When you're looking to say the grass is greener you can actually say the grass is greener because it's one of those communities that has grass. If it's your first time to my channel, my name is Ryan Meeks. I'm a realtor here in Arizona. And if you're looking to make the move, I'd love to help you out. And for more videos just like this, feel free to subscribe, click that notification bell, and message me with any questions, day or night, email, text, whatever works for you. I'd be happy to help you guys out. Now that's it, let's get to it. In today's video, obviously we're talking about Agritopia. I'm gonna talk about the location, the amenities, home prices, the styles of homes here, and what the community offers, and I'm gonna go into some of the schools that are surrounding it as well. Now one thing to notice about Agritopia, where it's located geographically in Gilbert, is it's right next to the 202. I mean, the 202 is like 30 seconds away, so you have access to pretty much the entire valley and the 202, in my opinion, is a much cleaner, safer ride than driving on the 60. The 60 gets a little bit nuts, has a lot of lanes. Now it's really close to shopping and pretty much everything you need for daily life. Only two miles away to the east is the Gilbert Gateway Town Center. This has a Target, it's got a Walmart, there's a Chipotle here, uh, there's a sports bar that they just opened, there's a Chick-fil-A, everybody loves Chick-fil-A for some reason. There's a movie theater here, it's changed owners a little bit because of COVID unfortunately, but there is a movie theater. So really you can get all of your shopping done here and you can go get a quick bite. It's not gonna be one of those places where you really wanna take a date or anything, Thing. it's more strip mall style but definitely a nice area that you have access to only two miles away so barely one mile away is uh, the Santan Village section the Santan Village commercial section here you have the Santan Village mall you have restaurants like North Italia Firebirds, Flower Child, Sandbar. This is all super close to Agritopia, just a short car ride away. And also really close is a Costco, there's a Sam's Club, and of course, another Walmart, right? So shopping near Agritopia is like probably the best that you're gonna get in Gilbert. Now I really wanna tell you guys about the community and what's here, but first let's shift, talk about the houses and the prices and the types of homes here because they're very unique. And the cool thing about them, they kind of remind me of the classic Midwest home. They have some Cape Cod style homes. And one thing you'll notice is in the front of these, a lot of them have stairs with a front porch and some of the front porches are absolutely ridiculous. So really unique homes that uh, I really haven't seen anywhere. And another thing you'll notice that's more Midwest style is the straight streets with tree-lined streets. This means tree-lined streets right here, what I'm doing right here. Now it kind of reminds me of Morrison Ranch. You can watch that video here. Another really cool feature on most of these homes is that they feature a side drive with a detached garage. Now I've heard debate on whether an attached garage or a detached garage is better. I don't know. I personally like attached garages because you can just walk right into the house. These do have detached garages on a lot of them. And I've noticed that some of them even have coach houses. I don't know if they like Airbnb these things or just have grandma living in the top of them. And something you should have noticed by now looking at all these houses is none of them really look like track homes. It doesn't look like a track home community. It reminds me of a custom home built community in kind of track style where they're all right next to each other. None of these homes look the same even on one block. I mean, I've seen like one home that looked very similar to one on another block, but I think the goal that they were going for is to make each home on the block look unique and different. And they really nailed it. They have different colors, different architecture styles, and uh, just different unique qualities to each one of these homes. Now, what are the size of these homes? They range from about 1,300 square feet 
largest home I've seen is around 5,500 square feet. And back to the uniqueness, another thing that makes this community so cool is the fact that there are basements and that's really what adds to a lot of the square footage. In some other uh, cities, states, they don't add the square footage. It's not livable space to the MLS. But here, if you see a home with 5,500 square feet, chances are that it has a basement. So many of these homes, because they have the stairs that go up, you'll have a basement that's a little bit higher than the ground, a little bit higher graded, but uh, it's a little bit cooler down there and people love having basements in Arizona and they're not very common. Now, what are the prices in Agritopia? On the low end in the last three months, uh, one of the smaller homes at 1,321 square feet closed at $530,000 and there was a 4,700 square foot home which closed at $1.55 million. So quite a range of prices here in Agritopia. A really cool thing about Agritopia is many of the larger homes I've seen here that have been listed for sale are really updated. Now, of course, that's gonna come with a higher price tag, but I mean, just look at these homes. You get what I'm saying. So you're gonna find some really large, beautiful homes here. Come with a large price tag, but they're gonna be very updated. Now, of course, you're gonna find some homes that aren't updated as well as these were built in the early 2000s. Now let's talk about having some good old fashioned fun in Agritopia. So there are five different parks to choose from and these parks all have attached green spaces. So you could play Frisbee, you could play football, soccer, whatever your heart desires, whatever you want little Johnny to grow up to be. You can play that in these green spaces. They are absolutely huge huge. All of the parks have playground equipment, playground structures. Some of them have swings. They're going to vary a little bit, but you'll see your typical playground structures that you see at most parks and they're in really good condition. You'll also see some volleyball courts. You'll also see some basketball courts throughout these parks. And one thing I thought was really cool, I was cruising through the neighborhood, of course, doing my little video thing. And I seen on the street, they have pickleball that is lined up on the streets, on some of the streets. There's like two courts on one block, two courts on another block. So my guess is that residents come out and they play a little pickleball in the streets. It's all lined up there, ready to go. So that's a really cool feature if you're into pickleball. Now, if you're looking for a home with a pool, you could put that on pause because the Agritopia community actually has a public pool. They have a little clubhouse and just beyond the clubhouse is a pool with a great view of the Agritopia farm just beyond its gates. Another really cool feature about Agritopia is all the walking trails. Now, if you look at this map, you see these green lines. I love seeing these green lines on maps because these are walking trails if you're not familiar. So you can see that the walking trail kind of goes around the north section all the way from the east side of the community all the way down to the southwest side of the community. There are also some walking trails throughout the actual community itself. And of course, you can always walk on the sidewalks here too. Plenty of shade with all the trees that are surrounding the community in the front yards, backyards, everywhere. So a great place just for getting out and walking. And that's really important when you're choosing a community, in my opinion. Now that I've showed you the walking trail and you've seen a map, let's talk about the elephant in the room. And that is the fact that this community is next to the freeway. So is there a lot of freeway noise. You'll see most of these homes aren't actually next to the freeway. There is a large wall that separates the community um, and the freeway. So, and the freeway is actually back a little bit further behind that wall. So really while I was in Agritopia, I walked these trails. The noise wasn't overbearing or anything. And trust me, I've been to some communities like down in Ahwatukee and you can totally see the freeway, hear the cars. It's really disturbing. And in Agritopia, I didn't have that sense. So in terms of the freeway being there, I don't see it being a big deal. It's very quiet and uh, it's not really going to impede on your living, in my opinion. Now, one thing that's really cool is the path on the north end connects you to a park, which is called Cosmo Dog Park. Now, Cosmo Dog Park not only has great things for dogs, it's got a basketball court and a few things for humans as well. If you're gonna bring your dog here, a lot of people do that and let them swim in the water. Now, I've heard mixed things about letting your dog swim in reclaimed water, so make sure you do your research before you send little Fido out there for a swim. Now, if you just got off work, you're done for the weekend, the kids are out of school, and you wanna have a little fun, a little bit of a night out, well, you can hop on your bike, get on Agritopia Loop, take that down, head east on Valencia, and boom, you've hit the little commercial district of Agritopia. 
which has a ton of stuff to do. Now this area attracts people from all over the valley, including myself. I hit this up probably once every two weeks. One of the places it features is Joe's Farm. Joe's Farm is a cute restaurant, which is kind of cafeteria style. You wait in line, order your food, you have the menu there in your hand as you're ordering, you get a number, go sit down, and then they bring it out to you. Nashville hot chicken sandwich here. Let's get a shot of that, Kevin. Look at this thing. It is, um, it is large and it is, it is tasty. Ah, ah. Barely made it down. This restaurant is a farm to plate restaurant utilizing the Agritopia farm, which we'll talk about in a little bit. But it's one of my favorite places to go. It's got like your American fair food. You know, it's got hamburgers, it's got barbecue, and it's got some really good fries. But the thing I really love about this restaurant is it's so family friendly, especially in the winter. Our kids will usually go into the back outdoor space, run around with other kids, play on the trees, and just have a really, really good time here. Now, right next to Joe's Farm, and one place I love going to is the coffee shop. This is a great place to just hang out, meet people. I set up a lot of my meetings here. If you've ever met with me there, you're familiar with this place. It's got some really good food. Inside, it's got a little library-esque atmosphere in the back if you want to meet someone more privately. And then there's a patio which you can sit outside and kind of look at the views of the Agritopia Farm directly across the street. Good coffee, good food and it's usually pretty happening all day long. So then you have Barn One. I don't know if it's Barn One or Bar None, but anyways, it's a big aluminum aircraft hangar looking barn that features sort of like a co-working atmosphere and it's sort of a maker community. So if you go in there, everybody's gonna be creating something. Smell. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah, let's see, show them, show them to the camera. Look at that, I look like an old man. So inside you have restaurants, you have hairstylists, you have a guy that's doing machining in there with some great big machines, kids love watching it. Uh, restaurants in there, you have the Uprooted Kitchen, which is a vegan restaurant that I used to go to. You have Fire and Brimstone, which is sort of a gourmet pizza place, really good food. And then you have 12 West Brewing, which is a brewery right there, just a bicycle ride away from where you live in Agritopia. Now, all of these restaurants have some really exquisite outdoor seating. It's all covered, plenty of shade, and right next to the brewery, they also have a winery. This place is called Garage East. So this winery has happy hour from 11 to four every day, Monday through Friday. You can definitely enjoy a date night, romantic evening, or bring the kids and have a few drinks. That doesn't sound exciting to me at all. So directly behind Garage East is the farm store, which features produce from the farm. What? Agritopia has a farm? Yes, hence the name Agritopia. So there is a full-fledged farm just behind all of these commercial restaurants and all the curveyors of these uh, restaurants and shops try to use as much produce as they can from this farm. So the farm shops open daily and all the food is organic, so don't worry. Like many other communities that have urban farming, you can get a farm box which is delivered weekly on a subscription. And from what I understand, it's sort of a rotating produce box of whatever is in season. And the second Wednesday of every month is farm night. Different vendors, fun, families, things to spend money on. Probably a little bit overpriced, but hey, you're there to have fun and it's all about the atmosphere and the experience, right? Now let's get back to this farm I was talking about. So this is a commercial certified organic farm. It's also got a biblical garden as well as a community garden. Now the cool thing is this community garden has little plots that you can rent. I don't know the prices on it, but you can go there, rent it. I believe they'll supply the water for it. And you can see here, this guy even keeps his chickens here. So if your HOA doesn't allow chickens, keep them here. So the coolest thing about this place is you can not only grow food here and and sustain your family with some beautiful organic vegetables that I'm sure taste amazing. But you can actually walk around this farm and just enjoy the beauty. And it's something that I like to do when I visit. I'll walk around here and just kind of look at the flowers and take in all the nature here in the desert that you don't see every day. It's really nice. It's a really great change to go into a community like this. Now in the past year and a half, there has been some new construction going on in the southeast section, just east of Joe's farm. They've sort of taken the parking lot and removed that and added a lot of other things. 
A new spot to visit is Air Guitar. Now this is a convenience store and I like to call it the rich man's convenience store. Hope nobody takes offense to that. It's just a very, very cool convenience store. Now, if you're sick of the, the other um, pizza stores, coffee shops, things like that, this place inside of it actually has a pizza place. It's got a coffee and espresso shop and I've had their curations there. They're very good their drinks. There's also an ice cream shop connected to this coffee shop with some pretty decent ice cream. And guess what else they have here? You guessed it, sushi. There is a gentleman here that is rolling up fresh sushi daily. Try to say that, fresh sushi daily. Fresh sushi daily, that's not bad. And they look really good. I mean, I'm not like a huge sushi fan. <laughs> Now I'm not a huge sushi fan, but I'll definitely eat some of these concoctions that this gentleman's made. That sounded weird. It also has just everything that a convenience store has, but a lot more. It's got probably the largest beer collection that I've seen in a while. It's got a ton of wine. And on top of this, it's got some pretty solid outdoor space in the front and the back that you can just sit at, read a book, enjoy your convenience store items like your Skittles or wine. I don't know if you can drink there, but you, you should probably find that out and let me know. And it's got some spots in the front right before you walk in that are just really, you know, a nice place to hang out at. And those places to hang out at will be a little better once they're through finishing the Epicenter, which is a gigantic apartment complex that they built right next to this convenience store. And my guess is that whoever built that convenience store is banking on this Epicenter place paying the bills. So I'm sure they want them to get this completed as quickly as possible. So this place, the Epicenter, is going to feature an apartment complex within it and some restaurant and retailers just below. And these are some classy, classy retailers, some classy restaurants. And this place isn't going to be cheap to live in either. From what I understand, it's like $2,000 for a one bed, one bath. So it is pretty pricey. I think it's actually more than that. But anyways, this place is called the Tyler. It does feature an in-ground pool in the center, a lot of outdoor living with in the luxury apartment complex and underneath it, it's gonna have stores and restaurant retailers. Now I could just make a complete video on this place, but we're gonna save that for another time. Check out my channel in the future. I'll definitely have a video going through all of the uh, shops there and the luxury living at the Tyler. Now we have a few more shops that are within the Agritopia area and realize I haven't even gone over the fact that this whole area is less than like one half square mile. It is a really, really tight area with all of these shops in there. And believe it or not, even living in Agritopia, you're not going to see all this traffic from all these stores because they're sort of on the edge of the community. So you're not going to have people driving through your streets to get to all of these. That's the best thing about it. So just to the north of this epicenter place, there is Backyard Taco, one of my favorite places to get a burrito. Pretty reasonable prices. They have a little salsa bar inside, outdoor patio, really cool place. Don't know why I'm doing that. Orange Theory, workout place, right next store to Backyard Taco. There's some other stores. I think there's like a Sugar sugar Shack candy store as well. I've never been there, but uh, you know, if you want to get your kids all hopped up on sugar, great place to go to. And to the north of that, there's a Dutch Brothers Coffee. And if you're not familiar with Dutch Brothers Coffee because you've never been to Arizona, apparently it's like a really good coffee place that teenagers love to go to and spend time at. The line is always super long around the drive through It is like some weird phenomenon here in Arizona. I've had it once and I don't think I'll go back but anyways, Dutch Brothers Coffee is there. And there is an LA Fitness. It's a signature club as well. So a signature club from my understanding is better than a normal club. I think they have some better amenities, um, maybe towel service. I believe they have HIIT training, a little bit higher end. Think of it more like probably a lifetime fitness style LA Fitness, if that makes sense to you. So all this stuff just sits just north of the epicenter, still within the Agritopia community. So plenty of commercial shopping, restaurants, fast food, um, curated food, whatever it is you need right there within the Agritopia area you have. Now, finally, let's talk about the schools that are here. Now, I'm going to just hit the elementary schools because high school is kind of like you can pretty much go anywhere, right? It's open enrollment. Within Agritopia, you have Gilbert Christian, which is obviously a Christian school. Now, that may not appeal to everybody. You may not want to pay the private institution fee that it costs, but realize there is Arizona Tuition Connection, which you can help get paid, uh, have other people 
people pay for your private school and it literally costs nothing. Um, maybe I'll have another video about that. If you're interested, hit me up, shoot me a message on what the heck I'm talking about here. I don't want to get into that too much, but you do have Gilbert Christian, which is a really highly rated elementary school. And then you have Higley Traditional Academy, which is a little bit further outside. It's on Williams Field and Higley. So it's a little bit outside of the Agritopia community, but that is where they would go. Your kids would go for a public school. So unfortunately there's no public school within Agritopia. If that was the one con I had to think of Agritopia, that would be it. But you do find that a lot of the Agritopia residents utilize Gilbert Christian within the community. Now, another option just north of the 202 is ALA. Now this is a full fledged campus. It's K through high school. So there's an elementary school and then there is a high school. Elementary schools K through eight and then the high schools obviously nine through 12. Definitely a great option. That is a charter school. Beautiful facilities though, just north of the 202. People have their opinions on charter schools, public schools. You gotta just see what's best for you and your family. That's Agritopia in a nutshell. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you need anything, please reach out to me. I'm here as a resource for you guys. Love what I do and hopefully we get to see you soon.